This is my 2022 Maverick. Today we're gonna to be testing to see how many dirt bikes we can fit in there. Cause I wanna know, that's the reason I got it. It's I travel a lot and I want to take my dirt bike places. And so this is my dad's, my dirt bike and my little brother. So we're gonna to try to start with three or start with two and then see if we can fit a third one in. And then we're also gonna be doing a quad later and maybe pull the trailer and we'll see. But this is a 2022 uh, Ford Maverick XLT with the luxury package and also FX4. First thing happening, yeah. <laughs> Where do you put the hook? Uh, yeah, where do I put the hook? <laughs> I don't know. So we got our toolbox. He's gonna take this thing out. Pull this handle. Swings out. It's a little low. Two to the clinch. All right, so this toolbox is not something that I ordered, but uh, the guy who ordered it and then who bailed out didn't uh, didn't pick it up, so it went to me. And so I've never took this off, but I'm just assuming it's pretty easy. Okay, that came out. Just break it if it don't come off. <laughs> yeah. As much as I admit the toolbox cool, I don't think I'll ever even use it. <laughs> I'll use it. Oh, look at that. That's cool. That Where's is awesome gear? toolbox. Look at that. I don't know what you use that thing for. Maybe your drinks? Oh, well, it could be a drink carrier. Yeah. This is how big the toolbox is. Check it out. <laughs> First dirt bike. The truck bed looks like it's getting smaller. <laughs> oh, easy to roll up by yourself. Yeah, hook this one up. These are pretty nice hooks. Oh, it kind of rests up nicely on that wall. That there. This over here. Are oh, you going to try to V them out? It's the big truck. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the best way, dude. Yeah. Right. Hey, that's a bigger truck. Why don't we use that one? <laughs> Next bike. KTM 300. Oh, we're starting to squat. Very easy to put these bikes in. And the bars are hitting. The bikes are bigger than the truck. <laughs> this is how I personally like loading in the bikes diagonal. I kind of just think it looks good. The rings are pretty nice. Yeah. Alright, so we managed to fit two bikes in. And they look like they fit in there pretty alright. They're not hanging off the sides. They do go awfully close to the edges. But it's a very small bed, so what do you expect? And the, the, the front things are even turned in, so it is even shorter than it actually would be going straight. But we could try straight. I'm not sure if the handlebars are going to hit if we do do straight, though. But I don't think I'm putting my tailgate up. <laughs> nice and solid in there. I feel safe driving with this. Solid, so let's go ahead and see if we would be able to get a third bike in. This one is underneath the bike, so it's gonna be a little weird coming up. As you guys see, and this is all done by myself so far. It's not looking like it's gonna fit. I actually hope. Okay, if you would say, feel safe doing that. <laughs> okay. Oh, phone fell. It's on. It is on. So let's go and just see if it would stay. Strap it. Parking. You can never have enough straps. We're gonna go ahead and go two straight to the front D ring to keep it in. And then we're gonna go one on the outside, keeping the whole thing in. We're gonna tighten this up pretty tight because I don't want them to fall out. That suck. I would say that's in there pretty damn good. I'm gonna hook up to these things. And then we'll go ahead and bring this around all right we got we got it tightened we put this to center center mass on here and it's in there pretty good you know like wouldn't feel the safest with it you know but it's working this for science 
Okay, let's go ahead and try to get the ramp out now if we even can. Oh God, it's gonna play out like this. It's definitely on the ramp. There you go. Now you gotta see if you can get your ramp in there. Huh? Straight up. Oh, there you go. That's yeah, in there. that would work. Now we just you get to tie that down then. All right, this right here is all of my gear. All of just my gear. This can actually fits pretty nice in here. And then you still have room for that one last person, and you could throw more. We have one more gear gear box that we use, and that gear box would go in that seat. Could shove it right here. Yeah, or you could shove it right here. Or you could put it on the very top. Yeah, or you could put it very top, but I'm just gonna put it back there for now. So we managed to fit three bikes in there. That last one is very like it don't fit very good, <laughs> but it fits. If you really want to go ride with three people, you can do it. If you get the lower models, the lower trims, it doesn't come with that D-ring, so you need to install yourself. But this one came with it and also the bed liner. Uh, 2121 KTM 300 XCW 03 YZ uh, 125 and the 2019 250 SX. So those are both big bikes. All three are big bikes. Get out, check the tie downs. I would feel safe riding with this. It's in there nice and tight. And so we're gonna go ahead and take a drive. This is a size comparison to the truck right now. I'm 5'10", and then so I could see completely over the truck. <laughs> so it's not a very big truck, but it fits three bikes. So what can you ask for? We're also gonna be, good, gonna be putting a quad in here. So I'll probably be doing that by myself. Let's go ahead and take a drive now. All right, my dad's gonna drive out. That looks like a, the bikes look bigger than the truck. <laughs> it almost looks like a hunchback. Ooh, and it hit the back. <laughs> Cause it's squatted. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in, get some drone footage. I'm gonna go take a drive around the block, make sure nothing's gonna fall out. And yep, I'll catch up with them in a second. All right, so this is the first drive with the bikes in the back, three bikes. And we also got a drone following us to, to try to get some footage of what it looks like from the outside. So how does it how does it feel so far? Like first off, feels good. What do you feel instantly? Feels the same as no bikes. There's no body roll, but we are kind of leaning, leaning one degree, yeah. wheeling. The bike looks like it. I can see the bikes from the outside. It look like they're staying in there perfect. Nothing's falling out yet. Nothing's falling out. So far, it hauls these three bikes really good. And it's only 700 pounds or so, so it should haul it perfectly fine. Because I think the max payload capacity on these are 2,000, I think. And then, so it should like do these pretty dang easy. Oh, we're going to do a hill climb. Hill climb. We might hit our our, our bed. We this are is at, a what percentage are we at? Oh, my drone, you tell? My, my drone's getting close. Oh, 13. 13. 13 degrees. Oh. Slipping a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Let's put it in uh, mud. That was in normal mode. Let's go to, let's go to Slippery. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> slippery goes backwards. All right, here we go. We're just gonna ease the gas, see if we can creep up. Oh, nice. We're creeping up. Couldn't do it in normal. Couldn't do it in normal, and it's creeping up 16 this. 16 degrees. Really good, 16 degree, Pink. with all the weight in the back. What more can you ask for? Yeah, that's really good. How do you put it in low? Oh, we weren't even in low. Well, low is not for off-road. It's just one gear, I think. Yeah, we we'll use it for off -road. Yeah, I guess. We'll make it off -road. Don't go too far back. Don't go back too fast. Now that we're going around the vehicle, what do you, uh, is there any last thoughts you have on it or anything? Nope, looks good. Looks good? It works. It does good work. gas mileage, go riding. Mm -hmm. And you can take three people riding. Yeah. You'd be a little cramped. I mean, my F-350 looks a little cooler, but... <laughs> but it's I mean, about like uh, $30,000 more. So next we're going to be putting the putting the quad on the uh, truck. 
and we'll see how that fits in there. I'm not sure if we're gonna fit a quad end or bikes. We have done it before in the F350. So here's another video of it. The mall stuffed in there. All right, so now I'm gonna be taking the bikes off. We're gonna enjoy this little time lapse of me taking the bikes off. And then we're gonna go ahead and try to throw the quad up there. And then I'm gonna go to a movie. So I'll go ahead and time it too. And let's go stopwatch, start. All right. This is our quad, it's a 93 uh, or a Suzuki something. Suzuki quad runner. There's the quad size, a little bit up to my hips. Pretty wide, looks pretty wide, at least. It is very close to my. See, it's resting on there and it's almost touching but it's not not sure if i would trust that probably and i would uh, tie it down of course if i was actually going for a ride but it does fit in between the wheel wells as you can see so it does fit pretty good definitely not gonna put the tailgate up or nothing but yep fits pretty snug in there give you guys a I'm not sure where you would tie down this actually, like it back, but you could figure out something, I'm sure. And you could tie those down to the front D rings. These to maybe this. I'm not sure how that worked too much. All right, so that concludes our video. We managed to fit three bikes in. The last one, that YZ fit just snug right on the very edge. And we managed to fit a, a 1993 Suzuki Quad Runner in there and it's a pretty decent size four wheeler it's not a kid four wheeler it's a full size four wheeler but it's not gonna be like your outlanders and stuff that big you know and it fits pretty snug it's a pretty nice fit it definitely takes up all the room in there you wouldn't have room for no toolbox or nothing but yep this is the truck it is a uh 2022 uh ford maverick xlt and i really like it so far i have a little bit less than a thousand miles I got it in Denver, so I had to drive 800 miles back and I was pretty comfortable the whole way. Um, even if you don't get cruise control, uh, this one comes with cruise control, but the base model doesn't. And it does still feel very easy to keep a, a, a speed. And But I travel so much that cruise control is a must for me. And because I, I just be I, I drive all night sometimes and it's, uh, I don't know, it's just nice to be able to relax your foot on those 20 hour drives. So yep, it feels really nice, like it. I'm gonna be probably doing a leveling kit, some more videos. If you guys got any ideas on what I should do with it or not, what not, let me know. And yep, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Put your suggestions in the comments and I'll be able to do whatever. We're gonna go mudding. We're probably gonna put a lift kit on it, put some new tires. I'm thinking KO2s, the BF Goodrich, or I have dirt tracks on my other 03 uh, Ram 3500. So I was thinking those maybe too. And we also have them on my dad's dually dirt tracks. And I, I do prefer dirt tracks, but I think they might be a little bit too aggressive for this car. Or for this, I said car, I mean truck. Um, yeah, but I really like it. Really like the Ford Maverick.